be finished. But what I'm doing right now is like bouncing down these tracks to put in digital performance so I can record. I just decided to, you know, show the process of what I do. It's a million ways to do it. Uh, so people just run it, rewire into digital perform or Pro Tools or Logic, whatever you're going to use, and do live recording. I tend to do this method. Um, I just like it. Um, it's what I started doing in the beginning when I first started using live. And it's what I just kept doing, you know, through the duration. So you can watch me do what I do. Um, I use impulse for my drums. So what I'm doing right now is getting my drums separated into, se you know, into, into separate tracks. So when I bounce it out in the digital performer, you know, I can have, you know, have better control over the the, um, the duck outs and uh, maybe some effects and mixing and stuff like that. So here we go. And what I'm doing too, when I go to this mode, I'm, you know, I'm checking the levels, make sure you know nothing's peaking. One poor thing about you know live is you know you do got the um, there's no um, the metering as far as the basic metering is terrible. You can you can say that, but you know other than that, you know really ain't no um, you know I really don't have any complaints with with live. Like I said, it's like my main production though. Uh, I had. And you know this seems like a little tedious process, but it you know. I don't mind it. Um, I set out a, you know, sometimes I might set out a day to do this and then come in the next day and record the song. It depends on how I'm feeling or how much shit I don't bounce down. You know, I jump into the song right after I drag, you know, right after I export everything to wave files and shit, you know, just jump to it. Um, I'm only putting one verse on this song and a hook and um, so I might just do it. I thought I'd do this, and I'd probably just show the process too of getting it in digital performer because it's, you know, it's simple. Um, but yeah, you, you, you can keep watching. This is where shortcuts come in handy too. Um, just let you move a little bit faster instead of having to fuck with the mouse all the time. So, <clears throat> alright, that's what it is. Like I said, I ain't gonna fuck around. I'm gonna try to get to show y'all how I, how I put this shit in the digital performer. Um, it's not a headache at all. Um, I try to keep my shit kind of uniform, so I'm gonna be this bitch. some some stereo tracks because um it wasn't enough to fit the um all the instruments I'm about to import. Like some shit you you know I don't I use like I said I use Pro Tools and all that shit but I ain't using it so long and I always used to just go through the um the process of importing all my instruments and shit once I bounce them down. Uh, if I didn't make the beat in Pro Tools but um, I'm gonna just show you how I do this shit with this and digital performer. Like these are all the, the instruments. Um, I bounce so my shit down, it. just dragging from that one track where they all imported into. I'm just pulling these shits down. And you may ask, well, how will I know when you know I've got everything separated? When the last track, when the, when the last time you go up here to pull. And this shit right here, shit basically moves and it's an empty spot right here. You know, you're on your last track. It's that motherfucking simple, you know? That shit right there look loud as fuck. So that's my last track right there. So what I'm gonna do is bring that back up here and just delete this right here. Then I said I was gonna delete you, bitch. All right, for the for the for the motherfucking um, test, let's go. Mm. 